Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about a little trip I took out to San Francisco last week to visit Google's offices. And this is a trip that was paid for almost entirely by Google. And I'm also gonna talk about being a Google local guide. Um, a local guide is somebody who contributes photos and edits to Google Maps. And so last year, I was one of the top local guides in the world. And um, because of that, Google flew me out to San Francisco with 150 other local guides to this event called Local Guide Summit. And um, it, was, it was an awesome time, and I'm just going to tell you about it. So on the first day, I went there a day early um, just to explore the city. This, this first day had nothing to do with Google. And I already showed you my, my hotel room in a previous review video. It was like a really terrible hotel room, but the first day was all just about exploring the city, just sightseeing. I saw the Golden Gate Bridge. I saw, you know, a lot of the, the trolleys and cable cars in San Francisco and all that stuff. And I also spent a lot of that day going to different grocery stores and getting more water to review. And, um, just, you know, it was just a relaxing first day that I did whatever I wanted, basically. Starbucks coffee. Starbucks coffee. One of the things that I really love about traveling is not just the stuff that you know you're going to see, but also the random, unexpected stuff that you run into. For example, the first night I was just walking around the city and I walked past this laundromat, which doesn't sound that exciting, but... It was a laundromat that also had a stand-up comedy stage and there's like you know a, a big row of laundry machines in the back of the room and then in the front of the room there's a guy doing stand-up comedy at, the, at this laundromat there's also like a stage set up for a band to play like i love just you know finding random stuff like that that's really interesting in in other cities and this this whole thing was like a block from twitter twitter's offices which i just randomly walked past and i just you know, saw a sign that said, you know, Twitter's offices. And so that's what I did the first night. I just explored the city basically. And then I went back to my really crappy cheap hotel the first night, which I showed you guys in, in the other video. And then the second day I went to a really nice hotel, which was paid for by Google and Google really just spared no expenses for this trip. Uh, it must've cost them a, a fortune for everything, um, you know, they provided for us. So the first night at the nice hotel was basically all about meeting the other local guides. Um, they were just all over the, the hotel. They were all in the same hotel. And the first night was like a meet and greet where they had this huge room set up for the local guides to meet. And they had activities set up all around the room. They had like this huge, you know, 10, 15 foot puzzle game, ice cream cart. They had like you know, stuff to paint like this. They gave us all kinds of free stuff like this and all these stickers, this virtual reality thing, water bottle, backpack, tote bag. Um, and they just gave us all kinds of like little cheap things like this, all these stickers and stuff. And they had uh, a little contest where you could see um, who can get the most signatures inside this book. And um, just all kinds of activities that are basically revolved around getting to know the other people, which was a good idea for the first night. And there's like tons of people who work at Google also in this group. And, you know, everyone there is just really friendly and, you know, taking selfies all over the place. And um, that was the first night. Uh, the second day for the Google stuff, we went to Google's offices. There was like, you know, lots of presentations about stuff that Google was working on, like, you know, some sort of hidden projects that I don't think I can actually tell you guys about. A lot of um, conversations with the people at Google where they got like our feedback about Google Maps and um, just, you know, presentations and stuff like that. Then that night, there was another party. Uh, it was like a carnival themed party and they had, you know, full-size carnival games set up. They had like uh, a bouncy castle for, for adults, like an adult-sized bouncy castle to jump on. 
free food, free wine, just all over the place, like, more than you can consume. Free water, which is cool. <laughs> they had actually, they actually had really good water. Um, with like, you know, lemon and, and, and um, good temperature water. <laughs> and just all kinds of free stuff, and like, the, the other local guides from around the world were even giving out little souvenirs to everyone there, like this, or... Some people brought currency from their country and just gave a little bit to everybody, like, just all kinds of stuff at this carnival. They, they basically, Google rented out an entire park for this event, and then had buses going back and forth between the hotel. And then the next day was again presentations, getting feedback from people, and we kind of broke up into smaller groups and um, just, you know, got more information about Google Maps. Because that's what the whole event is about, Google Maps, basically. And then they took us to the Google offices, and they gave us, like, a tour of the Google offices, and um, a Google History Museum. And a cool thing is we got to see those huge, like, 15-foot-tall um, Android monument things. Name each Android version after a dessert. Honeycomb, Oreo, Kit Kat, Lollipop jelly bean and they make these huge android statues and it was just really cool getting to see those in person and then that night they took us to like a another party this was like a nightclub sort of party like they rented they rented out an entire nightclub and they had all kinds of you know more activities you know they had a whole room filled with balloons they had like they rented out an ice cream truck you can just have as much ice cream as you want in front of it. They had um, this photo booth set up in front. You can take photos of uh, free drinks, free food, a band playing, you know, loud music. I'm not no I'm not normally a nightclub kind of guy because I like having conversations with people. And at a nightclub, it's like they're just blasting music super loud and... Um, you know, you can hardly hear people in front of you, so you can't really have a conversation with people. So, that was a little uncomfortable that night, but they also had, like, this video set up from the event. Like, they had a camera guy going around all three of the days shooting video, and they showed, like, a video that night of the event, and they gave out awards to people for, like, the, the local guides who had the most photo views and the most points and all kinds of stuff like that. And then the fifth night of the trip, I was scheduled to fly home, but my flight was canceled. I don't know if you saw this in the news, but there were huge like forest fires in California that week. I think they're still going on actually now, but my flight was canceled because of that, because there was smoke in the air. I mean, this whole week we could smell smoke, you know, throughout the whole city. And so they canceled my flight because of that. But Google actually paid for another hotel night for me and gave me, like, they gave me cash, just straight $20 bills, like $60 worth of cash for meals and stuff. And um, it was kind of a, like a blessing in disguise because I had a whole other day to explore the city some more on my own. So I went to, like, Lombardi Street and just explored the city some more and went to the stores and got some more water to review. So that's why I was in a different hotel in one of the reviews. Then I flew home, I had um, to put all this water in a separate um, checked bag, because you can't carry it on. So I had this like huge duffel bag <laughs> full of um, full of water. Like That's not even all of it right there, there's more on the ground. And so that was the trip, and then I flew home, and I'm back home now. And now I just want to talk about Local Guides itself. Yeah, they flew out 150 of the top contributors. And I was a top contributor. For the past year or so, this has been a huge like hobby of mine. Um, like taking pictures of businesses and just contributing to local guides. Like I've never mentioned this to you guys before, but it's been a big hobby of mine. Like it's basically started in August of 2016. I just became really obsessed with uh, doing this and you know, I kind of felt like I was helping people out with these photos, and so I started doing more and more and more. You know, I would go on these long walks around my city, just 
just taking pictures of like every business, you know, going inside the business, taking pictures of it, and um, then uploading it to Google Maps. And then even, you know, on this, on that trip to New York I went on, and the trip to Philadelphia I went on that you guys saw, um, like I went on tour buses on those trips and just snapped pictures of like tons of businesses. And, um, you know, I, I was just trying to get more and more points, more and more views. And so in May of 2017, I was invited to the local guides summit. I think at this point I had about 13,000 unique photos, like not duplicates, but all unique photos of thousands of different businesses and also bus stops and um, just you can take pictures of streets and just all kinds of stuff. I had about 13,000 pictures when I was invited in May. And then it all kind of went downhill from there or kind of uphill at the same time. Um, so I just became more and more obsessed around this time. And I started kind of cutting corners like after I was accepted into the, the local guides program. Like you're not supposed to upload duplicate photos. Apparently that's, that's a rule that they have. Um, but I started doing that like I took this one picture of a Subway sandwich and because, you know, Subway sandwiches look the same at every location, pretty much. So I took this one picture of a Subway sandwich and I uploaded it to every Subway restaurant in the world, which is like thousands and thousands of them. Um, because this, you know, every one of those photos would give me more points and more views. And so I did this for a couple other places. Like I took a picture of a McDonald's hamburger and I uploaded this photo to every McDonald's in the world, pretty much. Um, or at least in the, in the United States, every McDonald's. Like I found, a, I found a, you know, a spreadsheet online of every location, and I had my computer set up to just upload the same photos to every location. I did this for, for Panera Bread, many other chain stores. My views were shooting up. I was up to I think about six or seven hundred million photo views and hundreds of thousands of different photos because I was doing all these duplicate photos to businesses. <laughs> in August of 2017, uh, I got an email from them and I was suspended from the local guides program. <laughs> so <laughs> this is kind of weird because I'm suspended from the program. I was invited to the summit, which take, takes place in October. I wasn't sh really sure if I was still able to go to the summit program at that point because I'm suspended from the the local guides program and so I didn't really want to email them at the time and ask them if I was able to go because I wasn't sure if I you know if, if that would make them give me an answer that says no because there's like there's tens of thousands of people who work at Google so I just kind of assumed that the team of Googlers who suspended my account is different from the team who runs this summit in San Francisco. And I was correct in assuming that because I, w I, I was still able to go out to the summit. Like they still gave me the, you know, the, the airline ticket and the hotel information after I was suspended. I think it's just because there's so many people working at Google that they just didn't realize my account was suspended. And um, so I was still able to go out there. And um, it was a really good trip. And right now, I'm going to show you my legitimate photos that I took in the past year. This is about 13,000 photos of businesses. Um, because this was, like, a lot of work. Like, you might hear, oh, he got this free trip to Google. That's so nice. I should do that. But it really was very time-consuming. It's not just taking these pictures, but it's also, like, you know, tagging them at the right location. And um, I did a lot of edits to Google Maps and a lot of reviews and, and stuff like that. So, you know, the trip is worth maybe $1,500 or something for the, for the flight and the hotel and, and everything they did. Um... 
So it, it's not very much per hour, considering how much time I spent doing this, doing all the edits. Um, you, you're going to see that in all these photos I'm going to show you.
yeah, so there you go. I kind of doubt that any of you actually sat and watched through all of that, just because there's so many photos, and you just, I, I made so many contributions to Google Maps over the past year, which are all now gone, because I was terminated from Google Local Guides. They also removed all my contributions from Google Maps, so all of that time is just gone now. Um, when, when I was terminated from, you know, YouTube, I was kind of pissed off, and I just don't understand, I still don't understand why my YouTube accounts were terminated, but with Google Local Guides, at least I understand why, because I did clearly break a rule on Google Local Guides, so it, it is kind of justified in them terminating that account. Um, and so, putting this video together that you're watching now, I actually looked through, you know, tons of those photos that were just on the screen, and I kind of realized I eat so much junk food. Like, so many of those photos are from, like, Chinese food places and, like, you know, unhealthy sandwiches and Starbucks and Panera Bread, and it's, like, all junk food almost entirely. Um, you know, looking through those photos, it kind of makes me realize that I just eat so unhealthy and, and um, I, something I need to change, definitely. Um, because that's all just from the past year. And, um, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with all this stuff. It just says, like, local guides on all this stuff. This is a VR headset. Like, I don't really like having, you know, junk, like, little knickknacks like this stuff. So, the next time I have a contest, I'm probably going to just give away all this stuff. Um, just fill up a box and just give it to one of you viewers in the future. Um, another thing I wanted to mention was an interesting local guy that I met. On the second day, during lunch, I had lunch sitting next to this guy. Um, I don't know his name, but I got a selfie with him. You can see him on the screen. He said he works on the Chris Gethard show, which is a show on True TV. And he says he's like just one of the cast members on the show. Which is I thought was pretty neat, like pretty neat. Like I don't regularly meet people who are on TV, so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then later on in that day, this guy was actually removed from the summit by security, and he was taken back to the hotel and just not allowed to participate in any of the other local guides activities. And he was removed because he had a bad attitude. That's what they said. They removed him from the event and just made him stay in the hotel the rest of the event because of a bad attitude. So, you know, them removing people for bad attitudes is, you know, an example of why I was so worried I wouldn't be able to participate in this if they found out that, um, that my account was shut down. And, like, throughout the whole event, I was sort of lying to everybody there because... A lot of the conversations were about Google lo local guides and Google Maps, and I mean, I kind of implied that I was still contributing to it, um, which I which I've not been for the past few weeks since August, since my account was closed. Um, so I was kind of dishonest with them and didn't tell anybody there that my account was closed. And um, it's actually kind of been nice not doing this anymore, like. It was almost a relief when I got the email that my account was closed because I've just been spending way too much time doing these contributions. Like, I'm almost embarrassed just thinking back from the past year of how much time I spent, um, you know, taking those photos and, and putting them on Google Maps. And um, I'm, just, I'm just wondering, like, what if I had spent that time, like, working out <laughs> or applying for jobs or learning a new skill or something like that could have been a much more productive year instead of just those photos. Um, I mean, I did other stuff throughout the year, but a lot of time went into those. And I also met some other neat local guides there. You know, I had some good conversations from like people from India and China and Australia and um, some good people. It was a really good time. It, I mean, the, pa the past week there was probably like the happiest week this year, um, yeah, I mean, this year has kind of just been a downer, and, um, it was nice having a little trip all paid for, and, um, it's just, like, you know,
Google's offices are so sweet. Like, they, they really do spare no expense. Like, they always have just cool furniture, you know, cool artwork. Like, they had this trolley set up in the first area. They just brought, like, a trolley in, just basically just for taking pictures and just basically just to look cool. And, like, it's just awesome that they, like, you know, paid for another hotel night and just gave me cash for food. And they really do treat people right. Um, and it was a good time. So, let's finish the video by drinking some water. I'm kind of thirsty after all this talking. Thanks for watching.